Hello everyone, my name is Jack from WePC and today I'm going to very quickly show you how to optimise Windows 11 for gaming. Before we start, can I please ask that you subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out a lot. Also, you can join our Discord down in the description. We are trying really hard to build our community at the minute, and we'd love to see you in our Discord. If you have any questions, you want to come post a PC meme, show off your setup, anything, come do it in the Discord. Okay, first up then. There's a lot of features coming to Windows 11 with gaming optimization in mind. These are things like direct storage and auto HDR but we will do a video on them in the near future. But for now, however, if you have happened upon a Windows 11 ISO image, I'm gonna show you how to get the best performance for gaming out of it possible. First off, you wanna make sure Windows is up to date. Although Windows 11 isn't technically released yet, there's still some updates to be had here. I've already done mine, but make sure you go and check and make sure you don't have any pending. Once that's out of the way, you wanna make sure all of your relevant chipset and GPU drivers are installed. Although Windows 11 automatically recognises your GPU and installs the driver accordingly, this does not mean it's ready to go. Windows only installs the most stable driver at the time of release, not the latest. Next, we can navigate to our Windows 11 icon on the dock. Right click on it and launch Task Manager. Within Task Manager, we can click on Startup and disable any undesirable apps from launching on Startup to save on system resources and save the hassle of going closing all the apps you don't want running while gaming. You can always re-enable them here if you change your mind later. With that done then, you can close that off and navigate to the desktop and right click on it. Then select Nvidia Control Panel. Once the window's popped up, you want to navigate to Manage 3D Settings. Once in there, you want to scroll down to where you have OpenGL Rendering GPU. And from Auto, you want to select your GPU. In my case, it's an RTX 3080. Once that's done, the same below that, Power Management Mode, we want to set this to Prefer Maximum Performance, to tell the PC to take as much power as it needs, to make sure you're definitely not limited on power. With power in mind, this isn't necessarily required on desktops, but it may help with laptops. We're going to gear our power plan in favour of higher performance. To do this, simply open your search bar and type in power plan. Then click on the power plan settings. Then go to power options at the top and choose the power plan that prefers maximum performance. The names of your power plan may differ slightly, but in general there'll be a max or optimal performance option. When you've done that, you're free to close a window. Once that's done then, we're going to navigate to our dock and type background apps. When the window pops up, you want to slide this top slider to off, as this will stop the listed applications from running in the background, taking up precious system resources. After that, back into the dock again, this time typing captures and clicking on the capture settings option. Once in Captures, we want to make sure that both the sliders for background recording and recorded audio is set to off. These, like background apps, save on some system resources in the background when disabled. Next, over to the Xbox Game Bar tab, and same again. You want to disable the Xbox Game Bar if you're struggling for performance. It's a good idea to disable most overlays, especially if you suffer from a lot of stuttering in-game. These overlays include the Discord and Steam overlays, and any background recording software like Shadowplay. Although Shadowplay is extremely lightweight, it has been known to cause some problems in the past, and with Windows 11 not officially being released yet, we're bound to run in some issues somewhere. Better to be safe than sorry. Next then, in Game Mode, you want to make sure Game Mode is set to On, as Windows in current years has done a very good job optimising Windows for gaming. But with game mode enabled, and the tweaks we're making here, it will greatly improve FPS and stuttering over just using game mode alone. Game mode is a feature added in Windows 10 that essentially replaced the set priority and set affinity options within Task Manager. If you're an old school gamer, you'll probably remember doing that. Almost done then. Back in the dock again, we want to type GPU, and click on the second setting down, default graphical settings. This allows us to change the setting, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This won't always increase FPS, but it can reduce latency, making for a more responsive, faster seeming game. 
So we're going to make sure that this is enabled, but however, it will require a system restart. So once you've done fiddling with these settings, make sure you restart your system. So that's pretty much it guys. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial on how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. Again, we also have a Discord channel that I'll put down in the description. We'd love to see you there. Go ahead and join in. Click on any of the videos on screen. I'll put your link to our optimization guides and to a video that YouTube thinks you might want to watch. That's it then. This has been Jack from WePC and I'll see you in the next one.